about healing healing and right now as I talk to you I'm actually in the process of walking and healing let's pretend that you're sitting right here beside me and we're talking about something that you're going through that you want healing from now there are a few things that we have to bear in mind you have to be honest about healing and what you need healing from now healing is, is not always an illness sometimes that's the first thing that we think about healing from diabetes healing from cancer aids high blood pressure uh, lupus all of these things but what about healing in the area of budgeting healing in the area of uh, quick temper short temper healing in the area of being a better friend uh, being more loyal healing can take part in various areas of our lives but I want to remind you guys today that healing is not always immediate now although healing is here it's available for us everyone will not receive their healing immediately sometimes healing comes within the course of time it can happen within 60 seconds to six months it all depends on what all has to occur during that healing i'm going to give you an example of that if you've been dealing with something for let's just say 10 or more years you've been a person you've never learned how to be a friend you've never learned how to be organized no one taught you but now you're looking at yourself, you don't like your results, so now you're saying, hey, I, I need to be healed in this area, but I don't know how. Okay, let's say you find someone that will coach you in that area. It's not going to happen immediate. Now, they may, you may learn some things during your first session, but within the course of time, you learn how to get better. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? So please don't get discouraged. I want to go hear about relationships because this is a huge one. Healing in the form of relationships after you've had your heart broken. I've been there. But this is the thing that we have to bear in mind. Do you want to be healed from that broken relationship? Because if you don't, if you're still hanging on to it in any way, how can you be healed? See, we have to... Excuse me, let me take this gum out so that I can talk the way I want to talk. We have to be honest with ourselves. Do we want to be healed or not? It's just like being hungry. If someone says, hey, I'm hungry, and you say, well, hey, I have a, a turkey and cheese sandwich here. You can have it. And the person says, well, I don't want that. I don't eat tur turkey and cheese sandwich. Well, maybe you're not hungry because if you're hungry enough, you're going to eat it. <laughs> Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Uh, or someone's on the side of the road and they're sweating up a profound profusely sweating and you're like hey would you like a bottle of water and they're like yeah i'm sorry let me go back you're like hey let me give you a bottle of water and they say they reach out and they take the bottle of water but once they notice the brand of the water now they're well i don't want that brand i only drink zephyr hills or i only drink natural spring water i don't want distilled water but aren't you hot like right now you're trying to make all these demands but right now you need some water so drink the water, drink what's available. Uh, when things are better for you or whenever you have the resources, you can get the particular brand that you want. Now, let me go back to healing in the form of relationships. Man, when you're saying you want to be healed from a broken heart and you know that someone is not good for you, why do you choose? Why do you insist on keeping these people around or this individual around all the red flags are there all the signals are that are there it's, it's there before your eyes yet you're saying I want to be healed from this I want to be set free from this person 
but you're still stringing them along. You may not tell anyone, but you know in your head, you know in your heart how you truly feel. So until you're really ready to be healed and to move forward, you may as well stop talking about healing because your actions are showing something very different. And how can God or how can, you know, some people say the universe, which is kind of weird, but how can life render those things that you say you desire when you're putting something very different in the atmosphere. You say you want to be healed from a broken heart. You say you're trying to get over a certain person, but secretly you're still running back to them. Secretly, you're still entertaining them. Sometimes we stand in the way of our healing and then we wonder, well, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Sometimes we stand in our own way and we block our healing. It's just like a cut. You get an, an, a deep cut on your on your arm and you clean it up with alcohol. You put the gauze on it and the, and the bandage. And then what? A week later after the um, the scalp comes on there, now you're, you're sitting there picking it. Why are you picking the scalp? Like you cleaned it, you covered it up so that it could heal, right? But now you're picking it. You're picking the scalp. You're interfering with healing. That's what it looks like when we say we want to be healed in any area of our lives, but then we go right back and we do things to reopen the wound. If you want to be healed, you have to act like you want to be healed. You have to talk like you want to be healed. Even if you don't see it, let me stress that part. When you don't see healing, for those of you who may be ill, let's just say you're dealing with an illness in your body right now and you've decided to change your diet. Now, within the first week or so, you may see no results. You may not even feel better, but keep doing it. Keep doing the right thing. And within the course of time, healing will come. The feelings of, of doing better will come. Sometimes it's not always immediate. If you always look at the circumstances that's going on right now, well, I feel so bad, like I'm crying right now. What do you mean I'm healed? I'm hurting so bad, Antoinette. Yes, you might be hurting bad now, but that's not to say next week this time, you won't be feeling a whole lot better. So give your healing time just because you don't see it right now, just because it doesn't make sense right now, just because you feel crazy for doing the right thing. Keep doing the right thing. And trust that eventually putting your, your work in the action with your faith, with your talk, because you're talking the good talk, you're talking faith, you're talking healing, but then you're doing something else behind closed doors. No, no, no. Everything has to match up perfectly so that you can have that domino effect. Think about dominoes. When you line them all up and you push over one, they all fall. But if, if one domino is off, and you push it down, that's going to mess up the whole thing. That one is going to fall. And then you have 50 other dominoes that's still standing there. No, you want to line everything up perfectly. And once you push it down, I'm talking the right talk. I'm eating the right foods. I, I'm, I'm using the right communication. I'm, I'm putting my walls up, my guard up in the right places. Not to so much try to guard myself from every little thing. But when it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck. I know it's a duck. We have to stop ignoring the red flags and face the facts. If you want to be healed, healing is available for you. But everything has to line up. Your talk has to line up with your walk. All right. I hope I've said something today to encourage you guys about healing. All right. Talk to you guys later. Have a great one.